everyone, it's Shell C from Paper Octio Studio and today I'm sharing with you my first ATC for the special hashtag challenge that Peg Robinson and I are having in the month of June. All you have to do to participate is to make an artist trading card each day that's two and a half inches by three and a half inches. Any, anything that you want, no prompts, and then just post it on any social media of your choice using the hashtag hashtag ATCAD2018. We did this last year and a lot of people had fun with it so we're having it again this June. So I wanted to play with something different and that's what I plan to do for my ATCs in June and that's really what we're encouraging is everyone to get out your stuff, try some different techniques, uh, some ideas that you might have had. An ATC is very quick to make, it's small and it doesn't have to be super elaborate. It's a good way to experiment and play with some of your art supplies that you've been hoarding. So I had this wooden piece that I have a whole package of them. There's, you know, eight or 10 of them in there. Um, I think they're supposed to be little wooden uh, flag banner type things that you could decorate and then string on a string to make kind of like a, you know, a uh, banner or bunting or something like that. <clears throat> I've never used them for that. They're just rectangular, inexpensive cut wood. And then I also have this um, box of leftover pieces of gel printed fabric. And I used these in a project and these are the leftover pieces. I had, I had decorated a canvas bag. It's not on my channel. It was something that I made for a gift. <clears throat> but I had gel printed all this this fabric. It's a lightweight cotton and I had um, before I gel printed it I I fused on the back of it some stuff called heat and bond <clears throat> which is a, a fabric adhesive that you can sew through so it's a really easy way to attach pieces that you can then um, applique around to keep them on. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice is being weird. And so these are the leftover pieces that I had, I had done this with. So this is just another option for your gel plate. You can print your prints on fabric and use them in fabric collage or art quilts or something like that. Um, I follow another channel, Stitches by Julia, and she's done some things like that. In fact, I'll link a video below the description. Um, in the description box below from one of her videos where she had applied some of the techniques that I use for paper painting into her um, fabric applique type of project and she made a really cute llama pillow. It's just adorable. So basically all I'm doing here is I am taking these pieces of gel printed fabric and I'm um, cutting them out and then fusing them to this wood piece. The wood piece is just slightly smaller than an ATC. Um, I wish it was exactly the size, but it's maybe a sixteenth of an inch smaller than that. But I figure it's close enough for my purposes. And this is going to be, be my day one, June one um, artist trading card for the challenge. So I cut out different pieces, trimmed, fuse them to the um, the wood using an iron and this stuff melts really quickly it's it doesn't have to be super hot and you just need to give it some pressure in order to make sure that I don't get any of the gluey stuff on my iron I put a piece of shop towel in between so that um, I wouldn't get glue onto my iron um, I started out with the, a blue piece and a blue and green piece, put those on. I wanted the little little fuzzy edge to show. So as I'm trimming, I'm letting the fuzzy edges show. I'm like uh, rubbing my finger along them so that the little threads show, not real long or anything. Then I trimmed out another piece of a purple print to make some branches and then uh, a different green print to make some leaves and then now I have a red and a orangey yellow piece and I'm cutting out a bird. This is a very simplistic, this is not anything that's um, 
you know, super great. <laughs> it's, it's a simple bird, simple branches, but I just, I wanted to try it. I wanted to see what it would be like to put this type of a fabric image onto a piece of wood. And it worked great. It, I don't think there'll be any, anything I will need to do. It's, it's on there. It's stuck on there. It won't peel off and it's, um, I don't need to seal it or anything unless I wanted to have like a glossy finish off on it. I don't need to seal it or anything like that. It's just, it's done once I fused it on there. So then I decided that I would need to, you know, just make it a little bit more interesting. So the first thing I did was I took some white gesso watered down and I, I was feeling that my leaves weren't standing out enough from the background. Um, the background piece that's behind there, I could have just covered the entire thing in the blue and that's probably what I should have done, but I was trying to be all fancy or whatever. <laughs> and so um, I end up uh, even adding a little bit of blue to that white gesso and then painting around my leaves to exclude that background, make it, make it pushed back a little bit so that the leaves would stand out in the foreground a little bit more. And then I went around the edges of the wood with my leftover gesso to just, you know, paint the edges of the wood. Um, one thing I didn't mention is there's a couple holes drilled in this and I covered them before I put the fabric on with some washi tape just so that I didn't have this weird indentation. And you can see that on the back. I will cover the back with something. Um, probably another fused piece I'm imagining. I just didn't get to it at this point. Wanted to get this video done so that I could tell you about the hashtag event that I want everyone to participate in. So I need to get this video up. So then I decided needed more um, illustrative dimension. You know how I am. So I got out some pencils. This is a Stabilo All pencil, but then I switched to Ink Tense pencils because I remember that ink tense pencils are permanent once they're dry. They're water soluble until you um, activate them with water. And then once that water has dried, they're permanent. So these are actually pencils you could use on fabric. You could use it to enhance your, um, your fabric collage. And then once they're dry, they're permanent. So you would be able to wash this or whatever, ever, you know. Thing like that if you're doing it on fabric. I'm doing it on wood. I don't intend to wash it, but I got out my ink 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 oh man, ink tense pencils in order to add my details. So I added some red to the bird to like kind of indicate where there might be some feather lines. And then I added some green around the leaves and then some blue shadow underneath the branches, you know, stuff like that that you would do with a paper project. It just happens that this isn't paper. So it has a very different texture. And as you look at the close-ups at the end, you'll see that it doesn't look like like paper at all. It's very, you can see the threads um, in the weave of the fabric. This was an off-white, very pale, um, piece of 100% cotton, like quilting fabric, not heavy, it wasn't canvas or anything like that. <clears throat> I have gel printed on canvas as well, but th this project I used a lightweight um, cotton, something that you would use in quilting. So then I added some white highlights using the white Posca pin and going around the edge to make a little bit of a border with a dark intense pencil which turned out to be green. I thought it was black. <laughs> Who knew? <laughs> Sometimes you can't tell. Then I decided the bird needed a little bit of a plume or something on his head. So I drew that in with my acrylic pin, Posca pin, which is an acrylic. Then I decided to add some more red, darker red shading around and just make the bird a little bit more dynamic. It's not a perfect bird. It's very whimsical. And then I decided to glue on um, a word or phrase from my Tim Holtz chat stickers. 
you'll see me using a lot of these during this ATC challenge all month because they're perfect for this. They're perfect for tags and ATCs. And I happen to have three different things of them, so I'll be using them. So I hope you guys join in the hashtag ATC a day 2018 event and that everyone has fun making their ATCs. Be sure to give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment so you're here, subscribe if you haven't already, and share if you want to. That's it for me. Bye-bye.